what uh, what a 19 hours it's been absolutely incredible and um, we have got runners um, currently in Calgary, Edmonton, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, Phoenix, all running at this precise moment with just a few, a few more really to go. There's quite a few hours, but we're going to be going across the Pacific, seeing Hawaii on the way, finishing in American Samoa. But uh, I want to just quickly click the weekend. It feels like Instagram is going to do us an absolute world of good here. And here he is, Josh Reimer. How are you doing, man? Good, how are you? Oh, uh, much better than I thought I was going to be after, um, after 19 hours of this. And uh, we're still buzzing. Like, the team around me are whooping. They're happy to see you here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that might carry on. Don't, don't blame them. They're quite tired now. Okay, well, get on the first How's your how day been? Uh, day is good. It's 6 p.m. here, so I'm getting ready for my run. Hey, and, great. Yeah, where, it's been beautiful weather. Where, where, where are you going to go on your run? Well, I live uh, in downtown Vancouver, and there's you can kind of run along a path that goes along the water. It's really a beautiful downtown. Uh, so I can go run along the water on what's called the seawall. Great, great. All, all those bricks, we get told how utterly unbelievable Vancouver is. And um, so this is still one of those places I'd really love to visit, but so haven't, haven't made it yet. Yeah, I hope you do one day. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, but you've been such an amazing, amazing supporter of us, guys. You've... Uh, uh, you've been commenting on things. You've been posting pictures of you in your shirt. It, it, I, I want to say from the whole team that it, it's been an absolute joy to watch this kind of event progress with you. Oh, thanks. It's It's been great to be a part of it. Congrats on putting this all together. Yeah, it's been, I mean, th there's some credit taken for the for the team, but it all is all down to this community. So it's, it's all been building, uh, Everyone's been kind of searching for the runners, recruiting new runners to take part, and it's, it, it all comes to this one day, Human Rights Day. And I like, I wonder whether you might be able to, you know, give me a, a little feel of what human. Well, we, we've got this kind of feel here, in, but what, what does Human Rights Day mean to you? Well, I think it just means that um, accepting and appreciating everybody for every part of them, you know, I'm Jewish, as you might figure out back there. And I love that I can feel open and free to celebrate my religion and my holiday. And I want everybody else to feel that every part of them is good and welcome and accepted. So I think yeah. that's what it's like. I mean, that, that's, that's what we're, um, you know, this is, we were um, talking earlier about the fact that this is this is one day we've been building towards one day, one day to kind of end discrimination, one day to break down injustice, inequality. And, um, you know, uh, uh, I had a beautiful um, chat with Sunita. She's like, that really should be every day. And uh, yeah, it, it is true. And I, I kind of we, we were talking about how this uh, our runners have got a, a start line for their run. And, um, that just for today but that start line that same start line should be their their life start line for um, a little bit of activism and stack you know speaking out for what's right and wrong and all that sort of thing yeah absolutely we've we've all got a voice so we might as well use it absolutely what um you know uh, do, do you run much uh no i'm not a big runner i i do a lot of walking actually they just pick up the base. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this is it. And the fact is, this is we. You know, the the whole kind of hashtag every human is that we want. We wanted every everyone to be able to take a part, whether that was running, whether that was walking, whether it was moving your body. And uh, we've had one a lady say that she's going to be knitting for an hour, and you know, uh, good for her. And, um, and you know, we, we're all different types. We had the you know the guys in Uganda from uh, Petit Cirque just doing things that we didn't even think was 
were, was possible with their bodies and all this sort of thing. So it's been super duper entertaining. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and I, I like I know you have your own channel and you and um, you've travelled all over the world. Do, do you keep count of how many countries you've been to? Um, n no, I should. I mean, it's not that crazy. But the last couple of years, I've been going to about 30 different places a year, but most of them are in North America. It's not like 30 different countries. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, I was doing a lot of travel. So the one upside to this crazy year is that I had to have a forced rest <laughs> and stay at home. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of a yeah. break. I think there's, there's, there's quite a few people that have kind of, you know, obviously it's, it, it's a, a completely terrible situation, but um, there are those small positives in that we, you, I'm the same as you. I would normally be absolutely everywhere, and this has just given me a whole year of being grounded to one place, really. And, um, yeah. and in some ways, that's for your mental health. That's really, really good. And yeah, totally. But but if you if I was to give you a, uh, I could teleport you to anywhere in the world right now, and you could go walking or you could do your run there. Where where would you choose? Like, is it is it somewhere you've been before, or is it somewhere you would like to go? Um, well, you know, I love Australia, and I think the weather is really good there right now. So that could be a good option. I wouldn't mind being in Sydney or Melbourne. Which would you choose, Sydney or Melbourne? It's like this controversy. You know, everyone says you either like one or the other. Yeah, I like both. I think I always compare it like in Canada, like Vancouver or Toronto. I think Sydney would be like Toronto and Melbourne's like Vancouver. And they both have their pros and cons, but hey, either one's pretty good. Yeah, especially at this time. I don't, I don't know. It's probably pretty cold up, up where you are right now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Vancouver is... Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, if I take I take us back to that kind of, you know, the the support that you've given us as an organisation. You know, you might not even realise it that just your little comments every now and again and all this sort of stuff. It just gives us a puts a smile on our faces and gives us a bit of energy to kind of keep going and all this sort of stuff. And I I, I know we reached out to you because we were we saw you as a, an absolute perfect fit for a kind of an ambassador for the event for the event. And, and I, we, I, we we were chatting earlier on like. What was it about it that just like drew you in? Because I'm... Well, uh, well, thanks. Yeah, thanks for inviting me to be a part of it. Um, it's just a, a great fit for, I think, the kind of stuff I believe in too. Just that, you know, human rights are for every human. And this is something that, you know, we need to celebrate everyone for who they are and just put an end to bullying. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of divisiveness this year, for sure, with the, the country right below me. Um, we just need to kind of bring it back to just celebrating differences rather than demonizing them. Yeah, that is exactly it, isn't it? A, a trillion cells put together, and we're still all, all of us are so, so, so similar. But there's these, you know, there are very slight differences, and they should just be absolutely celebrated for what they are, grasped in both hands, held high. Um, I, I kind of I love that idea of it. It's, um, it's you know I think it's been something that was been uh, you know fed into me as a, as a kid. I wonder, like as a as a kid, we, did you what were your parents like? Were they um, you know bringing in that kind of that kind of mentality anyway? Yeah, I I think I was quite lucky. I, I grew up in a small city in a province here that's known for being quite redneck. Um, and right wing, but my parents were very open and accepting. My mom's an artist and she had LGBT friends and all that kind of thing. So she was quite left leaning, I guess you'd say. So I was very lucky that they've always encouraged me to just be myself and chase my passions. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. And, and, and you yourself, Mr. Gay Canada for the year, <laughs> how was how was that year? Was it just like the the most like mind blowing celebrity autographs everywhere that sort of stuff? I wish. 
no, I, I mean, it's sometimes I do stop and think like, I was Mr. Gay Canada. Like, it's just kind of weird to think. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've been on the on Out TV, which is our LGBT TV station here for quite a while. Uh, and on YouTube for years and all that. So I think the people who knew me knew me. I mean, like when I go to prides and stuff, people would want selfies. Uh, so it was pretty cool. But yeah, it didn't make it didn't make that much of a difference to my life. I'm still just regular me back in 2020. Do you think that happens with uh, people like Beyonce or I don't know Jay Z? You, do you think they just they just no, I kind of kind of think this. You know, this is this whole kind of discrimination. You know, all this sort of thing. Do you, do you, we're all just humans, and and do you think that they're getting influenced by all that stuff, or do you think that deep down they're just just the same as us guys, just hanging out, normal things? Yeah, I wonder because it'd be hard to have a normal life, right? Like you just can't step outside and and be left alone. I, I wonder yeah. actually how it wouldn't go to your head after a while. Like if people are constantly praising you and treating you like you're it, I don't know how, would you just remain humble and normal? I don't know. It's, uh, it's, hard, it's hard to know really, but uh, I, yeah. I, I like thinking about those things, seeing whether it's just like exactly the same conversations as we all have when it's kind of behind closed doors and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I imagine it must be with friends and family and you know, they still put on their pants one leg at a time and sit on the toilet. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so let's go back to a bit of, uh, take you back a few kind of short fire questions. What if, um, if I was, uh, if you had any given superpower for good, what would that uh, power be? What would you do with it? How would it change the world that we live in? I would, Make people love each other. Is that a superpower? <laughs> that that's a pretty great one, I think. And like you, the 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 screen. I don't know whether you can see it. It's exploding with hearts the whole time you're talking. So people are clicking <laughs> that little heart bone, and that you're getting a lot of love. So it's nice to kind of spread it around, and uh, you know, that's exactly it, isn't it? This is it. This is one of the lines we're using. It's like love is a human right. We, we all we all deserve to be loved. And, cared for and all that you know and if, and if everyone was the world would be a, a, a much more beautiful place amen amen <laughs> and like what we well, you know like did you did you we, we, as a kid were you growing up thinking i want to be a, a a youtube star on tv all this sort of stuff or you know did you have other dreams that uh, have potentially fallen by the wayside uh, well, I did really want to be a TV or movie star. So, um, you know, in my mind, it was more like Hollywood, big time, famous, as opposed to kind of small time, niche Canadian. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really, I'm not searching after that anymore. I'm, I'm pretty happy just uh, as it is. Yeah, I think that's, um, you know, this, there's a lot of people who are kind of, striving for that and i wonder whether they if they ever made it there whether they would be happier than they would be just this small time canadian guy you know <laughs> if that's what you want to call yeah. yourself um yeah I, I kind of think true. That's, um, yeah really really cool and now like i'm gonna hit you with um, two more questions real quick fire uh if you could go back find yourself as a an 11 year old um what would you say to yourself give yourself some advice Oh, um, I would say don't be afraid of who you are and who you become. Um, just keep uh, being proud of yourself and try to treat others the way that you want to be treated. That's it. <laughs> happy. You, you could probably happy. do it telling all the 11 year olds that. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. Uh, and, and one last one, uh, our runners that are setting off, uh, there's, there's um, I don't know, we've probably had about 
13 and a half thousand people have already run. They're sitting now watching everyone else uh, around the world. What uh, advice would you give those last few people as they strap on their trainers, they uh, take their step out of their door? What advice would you give them? Um, just a way to go. Be proud of yourself. Um, you're running for a great cause. And after today, keep it up keep keep running because it's good exercise and keep um using your voice to help spread kindness and positivity and the message of just accepting everyone for who they are and, and now you're going to make me give you a one an encore question because um this happiness this positivity this kindness one little tip how can we bring a little bit more of that into our lives so that we can give it give it to more people I think just um, in small gestures, honestly, you know, like just trying to smile at a stranger, even if you have a mask on, they can kind of tell. Oh, you <laughs> um, can see it in people's eyes. Yeah. So, you know, holding the door for someone, like I think now, especially we're kind of scared to get within like six feet, but you can still lean away and hold the door open and hold the elevator for someone if it's not too full. Like just the small gestures of kindness, I think are especially important this year when if you look online, it just seems like everyone's being mean to each other. It's, we got to keep, keep the kindness coming. Great wise words. Josh Reimer, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on. <laughs> We're all giving you a clap. We, we all love you. You're incredible. Um, rock and roll, my man. Nice. Enjoy, your, enjoy your run this evening. Okay, thank you so much. Take care. Bye, take care. Bye.